Hello everybody, Chief3 again, and today I will be playing Neophyte. The game is a uh, action combat roguelike with much. And um, yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> the game is in um, Twitch.io. I will have a link in the description if you want to, you know, buy it and play it. It costs like one dollar, so you you can you can do as you wish. And uh, yeah, let's go through it. As far as I know, this game is not complete. Like we are in version 0.1. WC to move. Oh yeah. Shift while moving to dash. Shift. That's not a good uh, button for me. Your spell slots are shown at the bottom of the screen. Press up to cast a fire spell. Press spell to destroy the training dummy. Okay, fair enough. You'll collect spells over the course of a run. Press tab to click on spell book icon below. Okay, equip the new spell by clicking and dragging it to a spell slot. Easy enough. What is this? We're only death. I'm gonna read in a moment. You cannot cast spells while your spell book is open. Close your book. I'm reading it. I love it. Okay, I closed it. Hello. And use your new spell. Oh, it's daggers all around. Some spell cost mana to cast. Keep an eye on your mana bar at the bottom of the screen. Step on a button to front C to combat. What does this do? Uh, I'm gonna read it in a bit when the tutorial is done. So let's begin with the first combat, I guess. In the two minutes, is the fight gonna start? Yep, the fight has started. Oh, there are there are opponents at the bottom too, I see. So I saw Splattercat play this, so I have some knowledge of what's happening. Here at the bottom right, you can see every single one of my stats. And as you see here, I already start with some HP regen. So... Cover it, and every time you pass a stage, you get some stats. I think they're random. Begin rewards after each round of combat. Rewards include spells, thumbs, and emblems. Open up. This is maximum life. The worst one I like. Place cursor over them to read them. Okay, and boiling blood is whenever you collect a healing potion, you deal 400% of the amount healed as damage to enemies within five tiles. Okay, let's pick that up, and this one too. Boiling blood. Collecting emblems are shown at the bottom left of corner of the screen. Choosing additional rewards from the three altars. And I got the choice. Healing potions drop 60% more often. This combos with this. I could do a healing potion run. <laughs> Whenever you dash, grasping vines is cast between your start and the end. And each type of elemental damage dealt to enemies reduces their damage resistance by 10%. You know what? At this point, might as well go for the... <laughs> um, for this. And what is this? Gain 4% crit hit chance. Right now, I have... I guess 10% crit chance, as this is an X and this is an X2. Attack speed and mana per second. Um, I guess I can go for mana per second to spam. Yeah, let's go for mana per second to spam a bit more. And uh, step on the button to to go for combat. You know what? Before we go here, let me go into second. Um, is there uh, is there a hand? Nope, I, I cannot change the controls. Well, I would have liked to change the controls, but it's okay. I mean, this is like version 0.10. So I guess they're pretty far away. They don't even have a, a number two anywhere inside of the version number. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. I'm kidding. Uh, right now, the game seems pretty decent. Very simple here. Opponents coming next to us just look at us. Trying to hammer slam us once in a while. Where are my explosive potions at? I'm supposed to have sick... Whoa, that does my explosive potion. Okay, we're arranged here. I have to click or I can keep it down. Got it. I want to see. It's a bit It's a bit missing. Yeah, it shoots like a smidge to the top. There does not seem to be any wiggle. But as you can see, like my mouse is right here and shoots like exactly above it. So if I miss, that's the reason. <laughs> not that I'm blind or anything. Uh, what is this? We got spell learned ghost form. First of all, let's read all my spells. Launches a projectile towards targets directing that explosive impact. Dealing 110 of your power as fire damage to enemies in a small area. Conjure two blades that spin rapidly around you, destroy enemies' projectiles, and deal 250. I did not know that it destroys projectiles, that's why we read the skills. 250 of your power as arcane damage near your enemies, so that does a lot. Turn ethereal for 2.5 seconds. While ethereal, your movement is unhindered and 80% faster, and your enemies also flee in fear for 5 seconds. Good to know. And we go with maximum mana. Another stat I didn't really like. Every 50 mana, 50, 50 mana you spell, shocks a random enemy within 5 tiles, dealing 100%. Of your power as lightning damage. Okay. Whenever you take 35 of your life as damage. So whenever I'm insta kill, Destroy all enemies projectiles. And stun all enemies. For 3 seconds. 5 tiles. What is 5 tiles? And uh, spending mana grants you 3. First of all. How many tiles does this have? 2 blades. It doesn't say for tiles. Spending mana grants you 3% damage resistance. For 6 seconds. Stacks up to 8 times. So 3 times 8 is 24. So this is 24% less damage taken. Uh, 
I guess I can go with straight up take less damage or do more damage. Let's go with straight up take less damage for now. Gain 4% attack speed. Gain 4% evasion. Gain life per second. 6. I have 1.8 and this thing gives us 6. Okay, I love evasion and all, but when you give me like triple the like insane HP regen, I'm, I'm going with the insane HP regen. And this is a ghost form I pressed it by mistake and I saw like they get scared. How long does the scare last? I guess I, I'm supposed to know how long the scare lasts. Okay, so right now my idea here is to just spam this thing. So I always have this shield active. What are these spikies? Oh, they are uh, explode on death. <laughs> okay, <laughs> explode on death is not really something I like. If anything, it's one of my most worst, like my worst, in my opinion, the worst mechanics in games. But uh, here they explode so slowly that it really doesn't matter. Like, I'm okay with these type of explosions on death. I'm not okay with explosions on death are like, it dies and then half a second later, boom, it explodes. And you don't even see the area, it just explodes. Whenever an enemy damages you, there is a 50% chance that it will flee in fear for two seconds. Okay, and 25 max mana. What? We roll really bad. Do we always roll straight up more health or more mana? Power is damage, attack speed, or crit, uh, crit damage. Now we're going to go with straight up power. So we're at 88 right now. Oh, we didn't even roll a, a relic. We rolled only passives. A 8, attack speed, or maximum life. Now we're going to go with HP regen. 13. Okay, I, I heal about 5% of my life per second. Plus, I find more potions because that is something I went with. What are these little bees? become a ghost oh this is not a good uh, spell for us <laughs> the ghost would be nice if i could have had something that's literally the opposite could i have something that's literally the opposite of the ghost thing i have i would also like to find mana region if there exists mana region instead of health region especially if it's like six because right now i'm potion basic potion based my build is potion based. As you see, I have no danger of dying whatsoever, I guess, from the HP regen. Come on. Not the most powerful build. What do these do, do by the way? They just run away? I guess they just run away. And that's that. Let's see what we get for free. You see spells that unlock power and life. It seems like I always get power and life. So this is not going to be a new spell? Yep. Did we get? Oh, this instantly pulls you pulls in towards you. Grasping vines. Summons a line of thick vines in target direction. That's near enemies. They touch, preventing their movement for five seconds. So this is what I would have gotten on the dash. I prefer the more potions. And um, 20 mana in 10 seconds. Oh, that's huge though. Ah, it's okay. And this is movement speed. I run a bit faster. I think I should run a bit faster anyway. Uh, you heal for 30% of the mana you spend. Oh, that's good with what I'm doing. After moving 15 tiles, the next non-basic damage spell you cast is 60% more damage. Ah, I don't care about this. Your maximum life is increased from definitely not more max life. Let's go with... Let's go with uh, I heal for mana spending. Crit and even more life per second. Crit hit chance. How much might... Crit is 10%. You know what? I continue with life per second. I mean, I would have liked to go with damage, but from these choices, life per second is what I'm going to go with. I might be going a bit overboard on healing here. Let's uh, let's just go on. Two. Now they're rooted. Yeah, I'm out of mana. Oh, these guys do laser? This guy lasers us? Are you a laser enemy? I guess. Potion. Would be nice if potions also healed mana. Maybe they do. Maybe I just don't have the buff yet. Laser. Let's go with potions. Let's go with more potions. Potions are gonna carry us. <laughs> right now I don't really do anything damage-wise. But I'm also not uh, in any danger of dying. So... I don't think I even want to use the vines, honestly. I mean, it's okay that they root and stuff. But uh, as, as long as I... As long as I maintain this buff and take 24% less damage, like... I don't think we can die with uh, 20 HP regen. Although, honestly speaking, I don't even know how much damage opponents do, so... 7 damage. Wow, I'm healing 20 per second and they do 7. 
Or in life, what is this? Unshackled. Your critical hit chance is increased by 2.5 for every 15 mana missing. Oh, that's decent. So if I miss everything, it's 25% crit chance. 4% evasion, straight up, take no damage. Oh, we choose a spell. Black Hole. Creating a swirling vortex at target position, which pulls enemies within 3.5 tiles and deals 170 of your power as arcane damage over 4 seconds. I like this. This uh, First of all, what does expert mean? What are my other spells? Primary. Expert only expert. Defensive. And this is defensive? I guess defensive goes on space. Uh, like uh, <laughs> like Battle Right. Creating a swirl vortex at the time. Yeah, I read this. 40 mana cooldown. I most likely want to pick this up. Create a bubble. Arcane basic. Okay, this uh, instead of my. We get create a bubble of target position that explodes after 0 0.67. Delay dealing 80% of your weapon damage as arcane damage to enemies within 2 point uh, tiles. 2 tiles. 3 tiles. Does this say tiles? This does not say tiles. <clears throat> stone skin. Raise yourself in a layer of stone for up to 5 seconds, absorbing damage equal to 4% of your maximum life. Well, this is a shield. Um, I mean, it's better than the ghost because the ghost is scaring everybody. But I think black hole, black hole makes more sense for us because I try to spin to win them. So pull them all in and then kill them. Mana 1.4? What? Do I have... What's my mana region? Is my mana region 10? Yep, my mana region is in 10. Wow, this is nothing. Max life, evasion. I guess let's go with mana, but uh, this is not enough. Uh, let's open up this book. Let's go with the black hole. Let's see what it looks like. Can I have this somewhere else? Ooh, I can. Ah, okay, let's have that in queue. Okay. And then I guess I just run in and destroy him. This has a 16. This has a huge cooldown. I see there is a cooldown reduction stat. What is this thing? Space. Pull him in! Pull him in! Machine gun! Well, yeah, that's how we're gonna roll here. See, opponent's trying to damage us. As if we are damaged. Um, as if we have any danger of getting damaged. Pull him in! Uh-oh. Oh, that went well. Okay, let's let's gather up our mana for a moment. Okay, go. Got them all. Got them all. Maybe the stones can up. Maybe we can pull them all in again here with the explosion. In a moment. In a moment. Go. Ah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Not an insanely powerful build right now. But we are immortal. <laughs> That's the important part. That we are immortal. I should shoot a bit more often. Maybe my starting spell isn't good enough. Maybe I should have went with the other one. Uh, actually, honestly speaking, I think my main problem is that I didn't have enough damage. Uh, in the rolls, is what I mean. I didn't have damage rolls. I had a bunch of life rolls. Or on life. My damage is 100% right now. Whoop. So we rolled maximum mana and mana regen. Okay, so at least we know that the book can actually roll something other than life. Oh, it also rolled evasion at some point, so... Power is increased by 20%, but your attack speed is reduced by 12. I mean, that's decent with the spikes. With the, with the killings. You have 20% damage resistance as long as there are at least 3 enemies around you. I think I need a resistance. Fire damage, your deal is increased. I only deal this as fire damage. Yeah, let's just go with 20% more damage on everything and uh, less attack speed. Max life, hit chance, mana regen. I think I'm gonna continue with... Wait, uh, I could go into crit. Mm, nah, let's go into... Wait. Nah, let's go into mana region. I want to spam knives even, even more often. Join me. Like, mana region is a, is a DPS problem. Although it might not instantly look like it, but having mana region increase your DPS for sure, regardless of doing more damage. I killed the whole screen, wow. Aha, I'm powerful. Would be nice if I could have had cooldown reduction, though. That would increase my DPS a lot more than anything else. Why is this guy scared? Oh, I had the thing that whoever attacks me has a chance to get scared. Yeah, I forgot that completely. Let's for a moment not do an attack here. So that I get my mana up. Are we in any danger of dying? 
I I can't I can't know. Rod of mana. Oh, I got the explosion there. As long as I have this super shield, I don't think like anything is gonna do 230 damage to us. If anything, I don't think anything can even do 100 damage to us. Let's buy a bit of time and bring him in. Reap him, boy. Okay, that's toast. Yep, pretty much damage immune, as I said. Let's go here. Let's maybe create a vortex. Here you go. Let's go. Everybody's toast. The um, the spell is has a delay of shooting. That's my main problem. Otherwise, I would be super spamming it. But my normal attacks, like this, look at this. Attack in 3, 2, 1. You see, it has a delay. 3, 2, 1. The moment I say 1, I click 1, 2, 3. You see, from the moment I say 3 until it shoots, it's a bit slow. Straight up damage resist. Insane. Uh, elemental Devotion. Whenever you cast an element damaging spell, you gain 2.5 uh, power. This effect stacks up to 10 times, but casting a damage spell of a different element removes all stacks. Is this arcane? Yeah, both arcane. So just don't play fireballs is what I get. Or spam only fireballs. And then they become pretty powerful, I guess. It's something. Burst. Arcane basic. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this and go full on arcane. Instantly teleport to target position up to 3 times away. I mean, I'm okay with the dash. Uh, soul armor, defensive, passive. Slain enemies have a chance to grant you their souls, reducing the damage you take by 1%. This effect stacks up 10 times. Active, consume all stacks to heal for a bunch. We're gonna go with a simple burst, so I got a new spell. A damaging spell. Gain for damage resistance, movement speed, or max life. We're gonna go with damage resistance, as that's pretty much straight up better, in my opinion, than the others. Let's go here. What does this look like? Okay, and it's arcane, so we are arcane damage build. And for the last one, is this arcane? This is just expert. Does this count as non-arcane? It does not. So we keep that too there. And uh, I don't think I need anything else, honestly. So, um, yeah, let's go. I got a new damaging spell. I'm full on arcane build, man. Full on arcane build. I You all loaned into an explosion there. Bring everybody together. Also use some potions for explosions. Yeah, now we actually do a smidge more. And uh, it's also easier to cast this uh, new spell because I just click it and then run away. Like, I can continue playing without uh, needing to... Let's pull everybody in. Explosions. Nice. I like my build. I like my build now. Now I can actually, you know, cast and then run. Because that's how the spell works. Like, you can cast it and run easily. Nice, nice. Explosions with the potions. That guy's toast. Okay, you guys, join me. Join me at the end of the time. Of your time, that is. Whoop. I don't even know what I'm talking about. These little mages, I think, give shields to allies. Because I see some... Yeah, yeah, he just casted and that thing got a shield. I'm not sure if the shield is defense buff or a straight up barrier. So I'm, I'm not sure if they take zero as long as they have the shield. Or if they get like less damage taken. But regardless, it doesn't matter. Potions of Explosion. Whoop. Opponents missed us. I know I'm not using this thing, the Vines. But honestly, I don't think they are needed, like, at all. I don't think I need the Vines. Anything alive? Power and life. Let's get Mana Regen here. We rolled HP Regen, so now we're at 25. And damage resistance, 12. Okay, we're immortal. We can no longer lose. Your power is increased by 18% for each equipped spell on cooldown. I mean, we are using spells with cooldown, so this is decent. Arcane damage, he deals increased by 50%. Yeah, this is straight up 50% damage. Critical hits, ignite enemies, dealing 110 of your power's fire damage. Uh, over 3 seconds. Okay. I'm thinking about this, because uh, this will always be in cooldown, so this is already 18% permanently. And then if I throw this out on purpose, I can make this be 28 or something. Uh, this sounds good, but... Now uh, let's go with damage. I'm not sure. Mana region, evasion, crit chance. I'm gonna go with mana region. I want to continue spamming spells more than anything else. Let's just kill this area there first. And now we go whoop. Put everybody in. Let's also do the UE. So I have two skills on cooldown. So now I do even more damage. 
By the way, I'm critting a lot. Maybe the flame on crit would have been better. I don't know if it's stacked though. Well, regardless of if it's stacked or not, maybe it was better. Pull them in. I don't have that. <laughs> Explode them with potions. Let's have that in cooldown too. So we increase our damage. Pull them in. Explosions with potions. <laughs> Let's use this. Let's also use this to get rid of it. So that it's on cooldown and we do even more damage. Exaplo. I like the potions explosions. Well, we're dying. Nope, we're not. Because we go for the potions. Also use the ghost. Put them into a corner. Man, at the end of the day, mana is actually a problem. <laughs> like, mana regen is a must. A super must. Maybe if you're not a mana build. Maybe there are, like, non-mana builds. Or if you only cast something that has a... That is cooldown based and otherwise you play with your normal attacks. Because the way I'm playing here, we definitely need mana. Ah, yeah, this uh, it's a shield. So when they have a shield, they literally take zero. You guys. Join me. Our leading shots. Ah, nice, very nice. Level up power. Let's see what we get. Whoop. We get whenever you slay an enemy, you gain 5% life and mana regeneration for 3 seconds stacks. It doesn't say how many times it stacks, so I guess it stacks infinitely. Sorry, I am recording. Let's take this. So now every time I do a kill and we got managing and we get straight up damage resistance. Wait a minute, how much? Can I see for a moment? I have 40% damage resistance. Nice. Is it teleport? Solar beam, channel damage, fire. We're not a fire build. Lava, chakra. First of all, let's read this. Channel a concentrated beam of sunlight towards target direction, which deals 33% of your power as fire damage each second to enemies in a lane. Line. Sounds awesome. Summons a spinning projectile that orbits you for 7 seconds, dealing 80% of your power as fire damage to enemies it passes through. Instantly teleport to target position up to 13 tiles away. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna take this instead of the ghost form. And uh, how, how long are we running this? 22 minutes. So if this run ends before the, let's say, 3D minute mark, I'm gonna do a rerun and try to go for a fire build. Now that we know that pretty much only two builds exist <laughs> with these spells, and, I mean, we already have found three spells that I skipped, like four, so I'm assuming we're missing very few spells. Let's go here. You know what, at this point I can actually have it on space. And uh, let's have the black hole on Q. Uh, maximum mana, power, or life regen. I mean, I don't even need more life regen, let's just go with uh, power. Oh no, if I go with maximum mana, because of the thing that says that I get crit based on how much mana I'm missing, I will have more crit. And more crit means more damage anyway. Maximum mana is a problem for me. Instantly wasted the blink there. Okay, everything on this side is dead. Let's go down here. Let's bring the black hole in. This guy's toast. Also have everything in cooldown. Oh, this, this is huge. Like, the blink is huge. And I think I could also use the blink to realize how big some things are. Whoop, let's go, everybody! Blink over there. Pull everything down. Some explosions because of the potions. Well, the potion explosion build is uh, not really working. <laughs> I don't know what you guys were expecting me to say there. Let's go. Black hole. But the black hole build definitely works. So at least that's something. Let's also throw the wine out. Just for cooldown purposes. You know, I'm leaving opponents with one life because for some reason I feel like I have some kind of... I don't know. Um, dots or something, but I don't have dots. And if anything, I even did not pick up the dots that I had the choice to get. I'm just trying to have everything on cooldown all the time. That's my, my main plan here. And with a 40% damage reduction, I, I feel safe. That's my whole plan. There is nothing behind... Uh, nothing else is... There is no other plan going on. Damage reduction, HP regen. And just run into everything. 
Let's root him. Let's pull him. And let's assassinate. Maybe the root and pull is... Um, yeah, I'm doing them in the wrong order. But first root. Uh, first pull and then root. Even more opponents. Okay, I see a bunch of opponents here in the middle. Let's toast them. Nice. Honestly, the potions might not be crazy, but they definitely help out the potion explosion. And I like the fact that you can have a, a game based on potions. Or at least a build, not a game specifically. What is this? We won? Boss fight? Boss fight? We won. I think we won. Oh, we won. Victory. Congratulations for finishing your trial. However, your education is not complete. Return to the arena and increase the challenge level. Thank you for playing my game. Please consider completing the feedback form if you haven't already. Help me improve the experience. Um, Does does this video count as a feedback experience thing? I don't know. Uh, uh, let's continue. What is the, what's the higher difficulty level it said? New fight? Start? So we're at time-wise. So we are at the 25 minute mark. Challenge level zero. Challenge level zero, elite enemies. Challenge level one, elite enemies. I mean, a zero none, elite enemies two. Okay, I like it. I like it. Let's uh, let's go. Let's go with an elite enemies. And let's try to create a fire build. And I already started with solar beam. Nice. So I can actually create the fire build. Game be like, yeah, Sift, I, I hear you. Whoa, whoa. Okay, those. that's an illusionist, if I ever saw one. That's something with poison. Okay, I definitely need... Yeah, that's definitely an illusionist something. Yep, they, they split, all right. Forget we don't have the... We don't have uh, none of our stats anymore, so we don't have HP regen. Let's see what this thing does, actually. Is it poison? Doesn't feel like poison. Is it that they regen? Yeah, it's that they regen, you see? they. I think... I think it's that they regen. I don't know what that is. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Power life up. Let's go. What did we get? When we spend mana? Yeah, when we spend mana, we get the shield. Nice. And crit chance. Nice. What do we get? Damage you deal to enemies that have full life are guaranteed critical hits, but your overall critical hit chance is halved. Uh, this combos with the thing that says if I crit somebody, they get burned. Uh, after moving 15 tiles, the next non-basic damage spell you cast deals 60 more than... Nah, not really. You heal for 30% of the mana you spend. Um, I think I want to go for this and try crit build. Because I can now crit pretty much everything as long as they're full life. And then I also have a small chance when they're not full life. I mean, 7% is not that small. And try to find the thing that says that I burn them. Otherwise, like, healing by per mana spend is a decent idea too. 30%. So if I spend 100, I heal 30. This is actually decent. I'm going to go with the crit burns. Cooldown reduction. Are you kidding me? Flame, the, the flame things I found did not have to do with cooldown. Well, I guess we go with mana per second. A bit disappointed here. Also, I wanted to roll life regen. Okay. Oh, this guy's rage. Good to know. Okay, we don't have enough mana right now. Okay, the first hit being a crit is at least a guaranteed crit always. So, it's like... You get 100%, you lose from 14% crit chance, you go down to 7, but you get a guaranteed crit, while while having at 14% crit chance, you did not have a guaranteed crit. So, would you choose the passive that says, yeah, literally the thing this thing said, <laughs> I mean, if, I, if, I, if, I'm, I'm, if I'm slowly gonna become like a crit build, I don't know. I wanna see if I get like a forced crit level up here, if I will get 4% that they normally give me, or if I will get less. Right for a second, found what I wanted. Maximum life is increased, we never take that. Your solar beam spell gains up to 80% increased damage and turn rate while channeling. Does this thing literally give me a buff for the skill I'm using? Casting a basic spell grants you mana. Oh, this is also good, but we're gonna go with this. Are you kidding me? Photosynthesis. So this was literally for the spell. Do we have a sunny day attack coming in? You know what? 4% uh, attack speed, I would say no. Uh, I think I'm going to go with a crit chance to actually also experiment. So is this going to give us 2% or is this going to give us 4%? 11 or 9? 9. 9. So we never go for this again, ever. We try to avoid the crit chance. 
Now, realistically speaking, I should have thought that there was a chance. What is this? Oh, this guy is it shoots projectiles out. Got it. Whoa, the blink goes where um, where my cursor is. Did not even think about this for a second. I thought it was gonna go where I was moving towards. Man, I definitely need some mana, <laughs> mana regen or or uh, max mana. I don't know, but uh, this here is spending too much mana. Yep, by far too much mana. Maybe should have gone with my basic attacks, give us mana back. <laughs> Maybe should have gone with my basic attacks, give us mana back. It's okay though. We're gonna be a bit on the lesser side of how fast we kill opponents. But right now, it isn't. They they don't even have ranged opponents, or at least they don't. They aren't that many. Here, hit me, hit me. Let's see what we get. We get, whenever you cast an elemental damage spell, you gain damage. This affects stacks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, perfect. We are a flame build anyway. Life regen, very nice. Cooldown is useless. Mana regen is actually useful. Max mana is also useful, but I think I'm going to go with a bunch of mana regen. Because if I somehow get... Wait a minute. How is it possible that I have 12... This costs 12 mana every when? Every... This is us per second. I don't understand how I have 12 mana regen and this spends more than 12 mana per second, but whatever. Let's go with... I was damage resist run previously. Let's go with power. Let's let's go with a bit of damage. Although, honestly speaking, I think going for damage resistance is better in general. But let's not have the exactly same build two times in a row. Let's try to create a damage laser build of death. Like, I'm gonna laser them down and destroy them. Why is this green? Still don't know what green does. The only logical thing it does is either poison or regen. Because it isn't showing anything. And if it's just more damage, then I don't know why it's green. Sift logic here. I see the photosynthesis buff in the corner, by the way. So, what I understand from what is happening here is that photosynthesis spends mana once every half second. Or even faster. Like the rate that for the the rate that the solar beam uh, spends mana is the rate that the buff goes up. This buff goes up, and that buff definitely goes up two or three times per second. If somebody wants to calculate and just comment about it, uh, gain twenty mana. We got a new spell. No, this is channeling too, and it's also lightning. Channel your power before unleashing a blast of electricity, dealing one hundred percent of your power as lightning damage to all enemies within six tiles. Deals up to six hundred percent damage, more damage based on the time spent channeling. Let's see this. Whoa! When do I leave this? Okay, I guess it's gonna reduce all my damage though. Critical hits ignite enemies. Yeah, we're taking this for sure because I'm critting everybody. Enemies within 3.5 tiles have less movement speed and less attack speed. Decent for what I was previously going for. Whenever you are dealt damage, you deal 100 rays of that amount of cane damage to all enemies within 3 tiles. Well, this is this is such a trap. I mean, if... No, nah, it might be not a trap. I mean, with my normal attacks, I'm doing hundreds of damage. So, this if, if I lose, for example, 200 life, this is going to do like 2000 plus damage. Right? No, it's gonna do about 300 damage. Yeah, that's completely a trap. Because if I lose one life, this does 1.8 damage. So if I lose 100 life, this does 180 damage. So this is completely a trap. You have to have like a million life for, to make this useless, useful. Because you have to realize that this laser does 100 damage. So that thing does 300 damage if I die. That may be 400 damage, but still, if I die. Uh, HP regen. Uh, honestly, honestly. Although damage is missing, we're gonna go with a regen here. Why not? Regen here. I have already enough. So right now I should be burning everybody I'm hitting. Let's let's see this in action. Boom! Yeah, I love that. Love that. And also guaranteed crit. Let's not forget that fact. That 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 is like a part that is important. Oh, boom! And almost died. But still, did not die. Okay, let's try this again. Whoa! Boom! Okay, most of the opponents die. Like in one hit. I know I have a laser beam build, but... If I get something that one-shots everything, I, I, I'm not gonna be a laser build build. <laughs> Literally. Whoa! Ah! 
It's not one-shotting every, every, everything, but most of the things do actually die. Still don't know what the green opponents do. Still don't know what the green opponents do. We're pretty much done here, though. Let's end this. 500 damage. Nice. Beep. Open up. What is this? Fireball spell, Guild Swarming. Oh, love it. And crit chance. Do we actually get unique... Spells. Oh, the homing is very powerful. Do we get unique spells based on what we have? If, if we get unique relics based on what I have here, I love it. Meteor. The expert and fire, it says. I guess expert means... Does expert mean that you have to have some spells to, give, to get them? First of all, what is this? Meteor form. Leap into the air before crashing down on target position up to 10 tiles away, causing an explosion that deals 300% your power as fire damage and stunning enemies within 3.5 tiles for 2 seconds. You know... 300% is pretty decent because this does up to 600, so it's half of this. But it is fire, so we will gain damage boost because of this thing. So I'm okay with it. Defensive, encase yourself in a layer of stone for up to 5 seconds. Yeah, we read that. And uh, lightning punches. Oh, lightning. Oh, so there is a lightning build too. And we got static discharge and power fists for lightning build. Punch towards target direction, dealing 70 of your power's lightning. And uh, every third hit deals 150 in a larger area. Okay, let's go with this. I maximum attack speed. Does attack speed? I guess attack speed affects this thing. Honestly, I want to go with max mana. But uh, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Let's just just go with attack speed. I would say, so that I have some simple attacks that I can throw at people. Uh, yeah, let's read. Let's change this up. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, it's just the jump. That does 500 crit damage, so I can one shot people with it. Maybe I should have gone with a bit of maxima. Hoo ya! I mean, it did something. I like how the the elite that I killed there is burned, uh, which I didn't kill, by the way. Let's go run away, run away. You know, at the end of the day, I should have definitely hoo ya! I should have definitely. Oh, it stuns them too. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dying. Oh no. Oh no. I only have 20 HP regen. Trying to burn everybody. You know, with crits and stuff. Run a bit more away until we get the Hoya! You know, my problem is I'm not channeling enough of the laser to have the big defense active. Because if I channel the laser a bit more, I definitely will have a lot more defense more often. I see a bunch of lasers trying to hit us. Still trying to burn pretty much everybody with some crits. I like that the blink has like an insanely small cooldown. Oh yeah! <laughs> Run out. Oh, these multiply too? Okay. Good to know. Machine gun them down with my projectile piercing... What am I talking about? With my tracking bullets. And uh, yeah, we should be okay. And easy enough. Nice. Power up. Life up. Let's go. Mana regen. Nice. And 8% crit chance, which is 4, by the way. So there are elite versions of the buffs. Nope, it's crit damage. I'm stupid. Cancel what I said. Whenever you take 35% of max as damage, destroy all enemies' projectiles. We have that. Every 15 mana, you spend shocks around the enemy. Uh, I mean, that is good with what we're doing. You have 20% damage resistance as long as there are at least enemies around you. I'm trying to stay away from everything, so... Yeah, let's go with uh, we do a bit of damage. This is a spell cast, right? The heart. Now you cast the elemental spell. This is, this is free damage. Mana regen, health regen, max mana. We're gonna go with mana regen. I believe that max mana is only useful if you try to spend a lot of mana at the same moment. While mana regen is generally more useful on pretty much everything. And I also get like the... I also can... Overall, the DPS is gonna be bigger. At the end of the day, I will do... I will cast more through the mana regen. Like, as long as I mana regen 25 mana with that one mana regen I picked up. Laser. Laser the laser. Laser everybody. Don't forget that everybody that is full life gets... Um, whoop, whoop, and out. Everybody that's full life gets burned. So, it's instantly a DPS attack. Oh, oh we're dead. Where am I? Run. 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 Instant panic mode. I lost where I was. 
Yeah, I guess I lost myself because the blink. Whoa, what what is this explosion? Oh yeah. Burn him. Run away from the laser. This is not going well. Run away. I think I should just go with lasers instead of the Hoya. Instead of the jump. You know, too many illusionists. Too many illusionists. And it seems like all of them do actually damage you. Jump in there and jump out. Laser everybody down. Laser everybody down again. Do not sit in the lasers for no reason. Yep, actually, illusionists doing damage. <laughs> that is my main problem here. <laughs> Whoops, wrong blink. This is going pretty decent anyway. Just run away, heal a bit. The good thing is that the, um, the shielding wizards don't really do anything against us because most of my damage is coming from a multi-attack, you know, spell. So... We, we are in no danger whatsoever. And you're toast because the ranged attacks. You hit me. Hit me! 18 damage. Pretty decent amount of damage we take there. Max mana! For V! Yay! <laughs> Basic spells deal more damage. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, it does 247. It does more than my laser, I think. Wait a minute. Does it really do more than my laser? Yep. Good. So I get a flame spell here. Defensive stone skin. I like that. Arcane blades and arcane burst. No, I'm gonna go with the stone skin. Honestly speaking, I don't need the burst either the whirlwind because, well, this is a simple attack and I prefer this. And this is like a melee attack that also costs mana. So there is no reason to take that. Crit chance up. Attack speed up. I would say let's go attack. Mm, I could go max mana. Let's go attack speed. Let's go attack speed for this thing. Although, I'm not sure if attack speed is enough. I'm, I'm not sure if that attack speed is a good number. Yeah, my normal attacks definitely do more damage right now. Yep, the laser is only to maintain my shield. And maybe electrify the opponents. But otherwise, normal attacks seem to do more. Also, laser is actually for AoE. So, I'm completely wrong on what does more and what no. Hoya! Oh, yeah. Laser is AoE heavy, simple attacks are DPS heavy. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Because that's the explanation we're going with. <laughs> Let's go with over here. Hoya! Blink away. Laser everything. I mean, I'm not lasering that many things. Can I, like, literally just shield here? Oh, the shield. Oh, okay. I was about to say the shield is insane, and then like it, it disappeared, and I do remember that shield is 40% of my max life. So if the shield goes away, yeah, then, uh, then that means we're taking more than 40% of my life. I took for more than 40% of my max life and damage. Which then in order in turn means that we are in danger. Blame everything in there. Blink away. I like how everything is like following me. I like how everything isn't like literally the same swap. Laser. Okay. Man, mana regen is really a problem here. Or, or it feels like the, the laser eats up too much mana. I don't know what, what the main like problem here is. Also, as far as I know, there is like a relic that gives you channeling plus movement speed. Which I obviously don't have right now. I think we won. Yeah, we won. Nice. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how slow or fast I am, because I just need all the waves to spawn, and then I just need to eat through them. Doesn't matter if I destroy opponents really quickly. Life and power. Nice. Casting a basic spell grants you attack speed. Ooh, that's nice. Your power is increased by 80 for each equipped spell and cooldown. I do have three cooldown spells. Whenever you slay an enemy, you gain life and mana regen for three seconds, and this stacks. Uh, This is for auto attack. This is for the... So this is for this... And this is for this. And this, just just forget it. <laughs> Although this is actually the most DPS heavy of all of them. I, I'm gonna go with mana regen. This here on kill will give us insane mana regen. At least that's what I understand. And uh, I will continue going for mana regen. I don't care. I, I, wanna, I wanna do this laser build. I mean, yeah, I wanna do the laser build. So let's see how fast my mana regen is gonna become better. Uh, it's pretty decent. 
I mean, it's not insane, but... Right now with 9 stacks, my mana region is at... Yeah, right now with 7 stacks, 22 mana region. Ah! Ah! Let me go over there. Uh-oh. Don't have that much life. Let's get the shield here. Let's run away. Yeah, it's, it's going up and down. It's going up and down. Like, my mana region is going up and down now with this new buff. Oh yeah, jump away. Burn a few opponents. I maybe should have not put, drunk that potion. Shield. I have a shield right now. Let's run a bit away. Let's maybe try to defeat this guy. Jump in there and jump out. Nice. Let's not forget that I have a permanent 25% less damage taken. So if, if I ever go down to almost death... That means I would have normally completely died if I didn't have the damage re reduction. Stay away from everything. Try to get some kills, maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with the jump. Okay, the, the last wave just spawned. So now I just need to get rid of opponents. Blank away. I also gain a lot of HP regen with all the kills I do, so as long as I'm killing things, I should be healing and also kill and also uh, yeah, like healing life and mana at the same time. As long as I do kill things, jump away from there. Uh oh, the lasers, man! The lasers are the most dangerous part of this. When I get like 50 lasers on us, that's where we we are in danger territory. Oh yeah. <laughs> Still having fun with the jump. Although it doesn't feel it fit it doesn't fit at in this build like at all. I also need to reduce how many projectiles are hitting us. Come on. Okay, we got like so many potions at the uh, on the bottom right now. So if I somehow die, it's on me. As if, if as if it's not on me. If I somehow die in any other way, we are toast, toast, toast. We won. Is this complete win? Nope. We got one more fight. What is this? Critical hit chance is increased by two point five. Okay, that's nice. Power, life regen, nice. Oh, flame attack. Ghost form and power chance, yeah, lava chakram. Summons a spinning projectile that orbits you for 7 seconds, dealing 8% of your power as fire damage to enemies. Can I see this? And even more mana regen. I continue with mana regen, I don't care. Uh, what does this look like? Oh! How many times can I spam this? Oh! Oh! Insane. Looks a lot more powerful than the laser I have. I can just spam it, like, all the time. Do I remove this, or should I remove the Hoya? I'm not sure which of the two is a better idea. Like, the lasers, I think, are pretty good. Wait, did I remove the stone skin? Yeah, blink stays. Stone skin is like a panic button. I think I'm gonna remove the Hoya. Yeah, let's remove the Hoya. Let's go for a spin. Like, let's have the stone skin as, as, as a safety option there. Let's try this out. I mean, it's not like the, the jump made <laughs> anything insanely powerful or crazy happen. Ooh, this is definitely good because I can DPS with my normal attacks and also DPS with my flame attacks. Now I have double DPS here. And every time I cast it, also electricity appears. And not only all that, but uh, I also have insane HP regen anyway from the kills, so I can have more of these out than initially visible. I, I'm spamming this, by the way. In case it's not apparent, I'm just spamming this thing. Yeah, and look at this. Because I have this, I have insane HP regen. And mana regen, for that matter. Because I'm getting a bunch of kills with this thing while I'm running into everybody. And if something goes wrong, I'm just pressing Q and I instantly get a huge shield or space and just run away from everything. Look at my mana regen. Look at this. Look at this. Now the build actually does something. <laughs> now we actually got something. I definitely will add the Hoya back into this and throw the laser out. 
Because, oh man, oh man, another game where the books are insane. <laughs> when I, With the books, I mean with Vampire Survivor's books, obviously. This is literally the Vampire Survivor's books item. Let's continue spamming the flames. Can I change? Where do I have the flames? Like, I'm just spamming the flames all the time. Just running into everything. Nice. And we won. Nope. Oh, it's uh, then we have another. Wow, we are so powerful that we actually cleared the wave before the pre before the next one arrived. That's how broken this is now. Yeah, I'm I'm so happy we found a good laser an item. Oh no, he hit us. Who cares? Everything is dying. Doesn't matter what you are. As long as you are close to me, you're dead. I can even use the blink. I don't even care about the potions. Boost. And we won. Completely win or uh, completely win? Nice. Let's go. We got another win. <laughs> Let's see. Is there even more difficulty? Congratulations for beating Neophyte. Thank you for playing the game. Is there a higher difficulty or not? Let's see if there is a higher difficulty. And um, yeah, if there isn't, I guess uh, that was that for the showcase of this game. <laughs> I'm not sure how heavy this game is. Nope, there isn't any other difficulty. So right now, I think this is everything the game has to offer. I mean, there is also the lightning build, which I didn't go for. But um, yeah, I think I'm not going to go for it, at least for the day. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I, I want to... Like, maybe I can do one more run just to get the... F but I already started with a fire build here, so... Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm gonna do another run of this until it gets, like, a huge patch or something. But uh, you can play this game too if you want. As I said, uh, there will be a link in the description of where you can buy it. It's on itch.io. And once again, I'm gonna repeat it. Just cost, like, one dollar. So um, you can test it. One buck, I guess, is how they normally say it. And, um, yeah, I have to say, the game is fun. I really liked it. It's pretty simple. I can see this thing exploding too. If, um, yeah, I don't know. If, yeah, if they add like a million more things, this is gonna explode for sure. I mean, it doesn't need to get added like a million more things. At the end of this, uh, you won the thing. The, you won the first trial. Just add one more boss fight there. And then, you know, that would be Act 1. And then Act 2 and Act 3. And boom, you got your classic uh, roguelike. And uh, this is pretty much like Vampire Survivors. So, honestly speaking, I think the only thing you need to add is like, I mean, they need to add a bunch of things to make this more replayable, but um, like gameplay wise, I don't think they need to add anything else. Only, only content is missing. So like new spells and, um, you know, new difficulty levels and maybe new characters like, you know, a normal select screen, get us like three or four characters instead of giving us instantly starting spells, give us a basic spell of our choice and then maybe a random spell of the type. For example, a fire mage starts with a fireball and then one of the three fire damage spells. A lightning mage starts with the punches and also one of the three spells. And then uh, the arcane mage starts with arcane and one of the three arcane spells. So uh, I meant lightning when I was talking about lightning. And uh, yeah, I mean, if this gets like a million more updates and uh, gets, I don't know, content, as I said, then I think that has a good chance to be... Uh, you know, a thing that people play, because this looks very similar to Vampire Survivors. It has less of a, you know, <laughs> it has like, it feels like a bit more polished, although that's, I don't try to say it as if Vampire Survivors is not polished, but I mean, it feels like more polished, you know, and with the slide and uh, with the moves and the abilities all have specific, um, like the relics, and it's like more of a roguelike instead of you just destroy everything on your screen. And I mean, you even target and click, so... It's, it's not the same game, but as I said, like, you have a million opponents coming in and you kill them. They're this whole, like, this power trip build item, like, game, power trip games are fun, and this could be a nice, fun power trip game. Obviously, you would make the opponents harder over time, but still making the character be insane with a bunch of relics is really fun. And also, the aspect that you choose a, a passive and then also another, like, you, you choose a, a relic or passive or whatever you want to call it, and then you also choose... Uh, stat upgrades that that's like nice it's overall it's nice you get free stats then you get a free spell and then you get like free passives and stuff it, it's nice that you very quickly power up and uh, i hope that this game gets like uh, as i said extended into a two or three act run thing and then you can create like a character with f 
instead of only 10 passives, you will have like 25, 30 passives at the end and everything is going to change with each other. But for all of that to happen, I guess only content is missing, honestly. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about the future of this thing. I hope it has a future instead of, you know, getting dropped. But, you know, every, every dev creator of a game has different plans and life also exists. So maybe they're never going to continue it. I'm not 100% sure if you want to look into this. You can, you know, as it says, join the Discord, talk over there, see what's happening. Yo, Sift played this game and I also wanted to join the community. What's blah, 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 what's happening? You can just, you know, come all in here. And even if you like the game, go in feedback form, send them. Yo, like the game, hope there is future in this, etc., etc. So maybe, you know, maybe it's going to become a fully fledged game. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Uh, as I said, I'm not sure if the mod, like uh, the, the developer said that, I hope everything was... I hope the sound was good enough. Like, I hope sound effects existed. Yeah, as I said, I, I might be wrong about if this game uh, is gonna be active developer or not. If if I'm wrong or whatever, just, just you know, you can comment down below and people then might see it. And uh, if the dev is here, hi dev. I hope you enjoyed my run through this. And you can also comment down below if you're here, yo, yo, I'm the dev, etc, etc. Most of the time when people, like, say that they're the dev and they get, like, a million likes, so you will instantly get, um, you know, you, you can talk to the people. And I hope that my comment section also gives, like, opinions. So, yeah, what I'm saying here is, first of all, drop a like if you enjoyed the video. And secondly, if you want to say anything to the dev, just comment down below. You know, I like the game because this and this, or I think it would be nice if they change this and that. And if somehow something happens and they come over here and see that, then we will pretty much give a feedback as a community. And if you want to give feedback as your own self, feedback form is here. And also you can join the Discord of the game. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Once again, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.